What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another awesome team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Force Blast Sword team alongside with Intimidate Salamence. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. Seriously, anybody who just tunes in and watches these videos, it really does go a long way. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Andre. Andre, thank you so much for dropping this team. I cannot wait to get after it considering we haven't used Salamence in a minute. And hopefully we can hop onto it and get some wins with him. We're rocking out on this team. Top left corner we're getting started with. We got Urshfu, Unseen Fist, and that Choice Band ability. You cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. Fighting a Dark type, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, U-Turn, and Sucker Punch. Fairly normal moveset, but it works all around on any team. Next to him is going to be Salamence, a Pokemon we haven't used in a while, like I just said. Intimidate and Assault Vest. Draco Meteor and Air Slash for Stab, Steel Wing, and Rock Slide. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I feel like it doesn't get up, get enough loving in this uh, in this uh, ladder right now. It's so good. It has awesome abilities because it can learn Intimidate or Moxie, both phenomenal. So you can get that Moxie boost or Intimidate drop. And it's a uh, special attack and uh, physical attack, really not that bad. So it can go out there and do lots of damage as well. Middle left is going to be Rillaboom, another Pokemon that you cannot go wrong with. Any team can rock out with a Rillaboom. This one has Grassy Surge and Miracle Seed, and then that fairly normal moveset that works so well with Grassy Glide, High Horsepower Protect, and Knock Off to take off items. Middle right is going to be Rotom, Heat, a great special attacker for this team. Levitate and Citrus Berry so we get some HP back, and then that move set of Overheat, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot to set up, and Protect as our final move. Bottom left corner is going to be a great support mod with Indeedy. Psychic Surge has its ability, Focus Ash so it doesn't get one tap. Then we got Expanding Force, Protect, Follow Me, and Dazzling Gleam for our coverage move. Our final Pokemon is going to be this Life Force Blastoise. Big part of this team, this thing can do a lot of damage. It can also set Rain, or it can actually set a Vortex so we can do pester damage throughout the battle. We got Torrent Ability, Water Spout, Scald, Blizzard, and Protect. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Force Blastoids and Intimidate Salamence team. First battle coming at you guys, and ladies and gentlemen, it is a new month, which means season reset, stats are changing, we're sitting at 0-0, zero zero, so looking for our first win for the brand new season, and usually when a new season starts, you get a bunch of off meta teams, but this guy's sticking with the meta team, he's got himself a Cinderace team alongside with Regilecki, Landorus, Tapu Fini, Robum, and Mimikyu, so this one's going to be a little tough, it's going to be a little tough, how should I go into this, I kind of want to leave Blastoise and get after it that way, Blastoise is pretty solid, but I think he's going to lead Regilecki, like, I really do think Resilecki is going to be a lead. And then he could just E-Web up on me, which I don't like. I do have Protect. I mean, I could probably go into like an Intimidate or something like that. Or not Intimidate. An Expanding Force. What do I think he's going in with? That's the real question. Hmm. Good going. I, I might lead Rillaboom. Yeah, I'm going to lead Rillaboom. And I think I am also going to lead Rotom. I think Rotom should come in here. Rotom could be decent. Hmm. What's Jeans want to do here? I could go in DD. DD's not too bad here. I'm thinking going Urshfu. Maybe as a lead. Bring in Bla Blastoids. Actually, let's go. Let's switch all you Salamence. I see my time there. And then we go here. And we hit done. Beautiful. Got it. Got everything off with one second left. But guys, before we get in today's video, I want to go over something. Really, really cool that we have going on for the channel. I did get my first sponsorship, and if you guys do not know this brand, it is called Into the AM. They are a men's clothing brand, which uh, really good clothing brand. I did some research on them. I got a few offers for sponsorships, but I really settled down with these guys. These guys are awesome. They make awesome product. They did send me some stuff. There's a link down in the description below if you want to go check out their website. And you can also use that link to get 10% off using that code. Well, it's not code. You just use my link and you get 10% off. So it benefits you guys and it benefits me. But later in the week, I will have a little ad video, a little minute clip going into one of my uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield videos showing off the product that they sent because the clothes are amazing. I wear them out when I'm going like to a bar, when I went to a casino recently, and when I'm just chilling at home. Like the, the quality of the clothes are amazing and they look awesome as well. So if you guys are looking for some summer outfits, definitely go check out that website. Link is down in the description below. But um, this guy rocks out with Cinderace and Regilecki, which I'm totally fine with. We get that Intimidate. And wait a minute. Yo, I thought I had my what's called out here. I thought I had my uh, Rillaboom out here. And I didn't get Blastoise. I hit done. What you mean? What do you mean? I'm so confused. What kind of team we got here? All right, we're going to make things happen. We're going to make things happen here. I'm going to drop a Wicked Blow. I might try to get after this Regilecki. And then I think I'm just going to drop a nice little Rock Slide here. 
and get after it that way. But that's a little whack. That is a little whack. He's going to withdraw the Cinderace, which is totally fine. I was going to go for a ground move. He might go uh, Landorus. And he goes top of Finny, which I'm totally fine with. Misty Surge is popping. We're not going for a dragon move. So eat it. We're going for a rock move because just in case this thing might be sashed. He's going to set up a lovely little reflect. He might be likely. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Rock Slide's coming out here. Yeet. Dropping that thing. Taking off Sash probably. And we should be able to take out Regilecki here with this Choice Band shot. This lovely little Choice Band shot. Get it going. Get him going. Get him going. Bang. Get him out of here. Get Regilecki on my face. Guaranteed crit. He's gone. But dude, i almost positive I picked a totally different team and hit done. I was like, so excited to get that off. I was like, yo, what you mean? But we're going to try to make this work. Win or lose. Going in the video. You guys know. I only record three battles. I don't do no cuts. I don't do anything. I, what I do or what you see is what you get. Because I know a lot of people, they'll be like, they'll like record like five videos and upload two of them. Be like, yo, look, I won back to back. Nah, yo, that's not us. That's not us here. Uh, he's going to get off that Intimidate. That tough little Intimidate. I might have to swap. I might hard swap. i hard swap in the real boom. I mean, what is he going to do? He might drop a rock group on me, which is a little tough. A little tough. I'm choosing to Wicked Blow, which I might just want to drop on you. I mean, that, that Intimidate won't do anything because it's a crit. Uh, I could drop a Draco Meteor here as well. Actually, no, I do not want to drop a Draco Meteor considering that, uh... Oh, dude, this Fairy move is going to do me dirty. Fairy is going to do me dirty, but I do have Roll Boom and, uh... What's called in the back, so I'm not too worried. I do have Roll Boom and, uh, Rotom Heat in the back. Ash Flash comes out here, and we do have Speed, which is nice, so we can potentially get a nice little flinch on this Pokemon. We get it. We do get that flinch. Lovely. Wicked Blow comes out before, and we should be able to take out Landorus here as well. We're coming in hot. We're coming in for a hot start here. You boy's coming in for a hot start. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. We are minus one. That's when he comes out. That's scary. That's real scary. Okay, fine. You can take out Urshfu. I'm fine with that. You can take out, take out Urshfu. But the real question is, do I bring out Rotom now? I think Rotom's got to come out here. He's going to be our Dynamax Mon. I said we get him popping. I said we get our boy popping. Right, so we get him out here. And Cinerace is out and about. Cinerace is out and about. Final mod. Alright. In this case, I 100% want Dynamax here. I don't want to go for this lightning, just finish you off. I think I am just going to drop a nice, lovely little rock slide. Actually, I kind of need like a guaranteed hit here. I might just go for an air slash and make sure this top of Finny goes down. Because we know he's Dynamaxing him, right? And we're going to look for this flinch. We're going to get after it that way. That's our plan. We're sticking with it. Because if I get rid of this top of Finny, it could be good. Because this Cinderace can't clutch up. We all know how strong Cinderace is. He's a little pain. He is a little bit of a pain. But I also didn't answer you guys' question of the day. That is, what is your favorite ability in Pokemon Sword and Shield? And there are a lot of good ones. But for me, I really do like Prankster. I really do like Mold Breaker. Especially when used right. Like when you're hitting through Mimikyu's. Um, or Stalwart on that, uh, on the Raladon. That's a good one, too, because you can hit through Follow Me's, not even have to worry about it. But I've always been a big fan of Moxie as well. Moxie, Sand Rush, there are a lot of good ones. All around, I can't pick one, I can't pick one, but I'm just naming a bunch of goodies. I do like, uh, what is it, Swift Swim, I do like the ones that double your speed and weather. Kind of adds a great effect to the game. Or adds, uh, diversity, or skill, or team building, whatever you want to call it. Just all around, they're cool ones. But I'm trying to think of any, like, really, really cool ones that I'm totally forgetting about. But this dude throws me a curveball. This dude throws me a heavy curveball, which I'm not liking one bit. I'm not liking one bit. Circuit Punch comes through. He's going to switch typings to dark, and he's going to hit off after. My Salamence. Salamence goes down. That's, that's a rough KO there. That's a rough KO there. Josie is orbed. Josie is orbed. Lightning Rod come through. Not lightning rod, max lightning. That's some big damage. So if I get off another shot here, can't pick up a KO. And he's gonna go for a water move, which, ooh, which I don't like. I mean, I should be able to eat, right? I should be able to eat this geyser. Right? Eat this up. Eat this up. Alright, so we eat. Um What's gonna be the play here? Do I glide into that Tapu Finny, there's my Citrus Berry, so I know I can eat up whatever I really have to offer. I, I'm, I'm thinking we can eat up a, uh, a what's called here. 
I'm thinking we can totally eat up a uh, a sucker punch. But this thing might guard. That's the problem. It might guard. So I think I have to go for a lightning over onto that slot. And a grass guide over onto the other one, right? Okay, we're going to lightning over onto you. And I am going to grass guide right over into here. Just in case it guards. This is going to be a good one. This one's going to end up really close. Because he might sucker punch. If he can sucker punch to take out my, my Rotom, that's going to be crazy. But I wouldn't be surprised either. Because Cinderace is so good. But there's the guard. We make a nice little read so we can slide out over our Rotom. And Sucker Punch is going to come out here. And Rotom is able to eat, like I just as I thought he would. So if we can just pick up the KO here, it's GG's. If we can just pick up the KOs with this with this Lightning, it's GG's. Or at least bring it down so Grass Guy can take it out. But let's see how much damage we're going to do. Whack. So whack. Okay, so now I can glide on either or pick up the KO. No, I changed him. What are you doing? Oh my lord, what did I just do? I'm gonna guard. I am gonna end up guarding. And I kind of do want Cinderace out of here. Cinderace has got to go. I don't get first turn priority anymore. But I'm gonna guard here. No way, did I just lose this for me? He's... No way. No way, no way, no way. I wonder what he's doing. No way. No. What am I doing? Eat this up. All right, we're able to eat. Okay, I know that my Rotom outspeeds. <gasps> that thing gets... Rotom gets buffed it. Did we all get buffed it there? Cinderace so takes life for damage, and this thing triggers a berry. Wow. So, uh, oh my lord. I could have had this one easy if I didn't change the terrain. Did I really lose this one because of terrain? I mean, Cinderace is going to go down the life orb here. He goes down the life orb damage here, so I got to double up into you. I got to double up into you. This one's going to be real close. Bounce comes out. Who are you going after? He goes after Rotom. So he's going to go down Life Orb. If my Robum outspeeds, we win. And we might be able to win regardless. We might be able to eat up regardless. Come on, Robum. Outspeed. Yes, sir. There it is. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I was going to be so upset if we lost that battle. Because that would have been all on me by changing the train. But... We get the wrong team, we still pick up that first win for the new season. Second battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a really, really tough squad here. He's got himself a Trick Room Glacier team alongside with Torkoal and Venusaur combo. Going to be nuts, going to be a tough one, but hopefully we can pick up that win. That last battle, thank God we won that one. That one would have been all on me if we would have lost that one because I changed up that terrain when I shouldn't have, but still worked out in our favor. I don't know who I should lead here, but I'm thinking... Uh, I kind of want to get out like a combo or something with like Ndidi and Rotom or Ndidi and Blastoids. But then if he sets up Trick Room, mm, then I don't really like that. I could go in the Robum. Robum's not bad because I can start slapping off items left and right. I don't to get out of here. I could go Urshfu. I think Urshfu could be solid. But it really depends who he goes into. I mean, he could drop Sun, which mm, the boy doesn't really like if he goes into Sun. I'm trying to think. I definitely want to bring in Urshfu. But I really don't want him to go into that Sun combo. And if he does, I'm going to bring Rotom. Let's go Urshfu and Rotom, see if we can get that rocking out here. Uh, bring Salamence in the back and then Blastoids. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Hope we can go back to back here. Get ourselves first two wins for the new season. Because we're sitting at 1-0 on the season. Season just reset it. We were just sitting at 0-0. Got that win. So now we're sitting at 100% win rate. So we're looking for it. We're looking for it here. But at least a win record for today's video. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. But he goes with... Who you going with? This combo. Okay. Oh, all right. I see you. He goes with this combo. Um, He might try to put me to sleep. Is that his plan? He's going to try to put me to sleep. The drought is out and about. He's going to outspeed me. Oh. Tough news. I got to do big damage on the Torkoal with my boy right here. I'll go for close combat, but I can also go for this. Torkoal is not bad. 
But I'm thinking of going into close combat. I'm thinking he's going to do big damage on me regardless, so I'm going to go into that. And I am going to end up Dynamaxing and going for the flare. That's my plan. That's Genius plan here. We're Dynamaxing. He's going to Dynamax as well. Okay. Alright. Is he going to go for that special defense or special attack boost with the ooze? And end up Dynamax the Venusaur. We obviously see that coming. And I think Rotom can potentially one-tap this thing in this route. Which would be lovely. It would be, it would be beautiful. And it would be beautiful. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he's got wrong. There goes my Dynamax. And again, I have to hit up this Torkoal because I cannot have this thing going for us. Just an eruption on full health. I think in last video, we, we showed why this thing cannot be in a Trick Room and just be running it at full health. Was it last video? One of my past two videos, we had a Torkoal just running us. He, had, he was in a Trick Room, he was at full health, he was eruptioning, and he got three one-hit KOs. Easy. It was an easy KO for him. He goes for a Vine Lash over on the Urshifu. Can you eat this Urshifu? Love you. Love you, Urshifu. Love you, Urshifu. Now we go with this flare. This lovely little flare, which maybe could pick up KO. Maybe. 100%. Get him out of my game. And we get a crit just to rub him up here. Get him out of here. Get out of my face. Get rid of that guy. Close combat's coming out here. We're going to go down the Vine Lash damage, but still. We get off a nice big close combat on this thing. Let's just choice ban. Which could KO, maybe. No. But at least bring him down to half. I dig it. You might go for an eruption here. Maybe heat wave. Let's see what he's doing. My boy's going down anyway. And he goes for a body piece. Goes for a little body piece. And I'm not too worried about you. Um, I think the play here is going to be out, be bring out Salamence. Right? Do we bring out Sally? That means Drought's out and about. And I really don't want to bring out Blastoid. So I am going to bring out Salamence. We have that Assault Vest. And an Intimidate can come out here. So hopefully he's going to pop out with that Physical Attacker. Would be really nice. And he's going to bring out his own Urshman. So there's his physical attacker. He's going to bring that out. And we're going to rock out with our lovely little Salamence. Which I can just throw a, a nice big air slash on him. So I think I am going to going to drop the lightning. Get a little terrain boosting for us. And then just drop a lovely little air slash. Lovely little stab air slash. And get this lightning out of here. And take out this Torkoal. Hopefully. Let's see what happens. He's going to detect. Hey. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. As long as we can take out the store tool. Fine, we have that intimidate up in here. Get us a lightning. Get this thing out of here. Out of my face. Get him out of here. Get out of my face. Not dealing with this guy. <laughs> get this dude going. Alright. So I'm like where we're sitting. I guess the buying lash damage chipping up on us. Always good. Always good. Fine Lash, Vortex, and the uh, G Max Wildfire damage. All three are wonderful. So we detected us. That's totally fine. Is there a difference between detect and protect? I know someone in the comment section down below in my last video was like, yo, Jeans, why didn't you use uh, detect over protect on your Earth field? But I didn't think there was a, a difference onto it. I didn't think there was. But I'm going to flare up on this Regilecki. Hopefully we can take it out. We have Blastoids in the back. Blastoids not looking good here with Regilecki out and about. Thunderbolt comes out here, and that might pick up KO. Does I don't like that? I don't like that one bit. Who's gonna go here? I just like he shows shows he's orb. He's gonna go for Wicked Ball. Can we eat this? Yeah, we eat that all day. Okay, right, this should be able to take out Regilecki, and we just should be easy win for us, right? Because Blastoid should be able to come out here. Um, how long for Drought? This might be last turn Drought too. It might be. Let's see, Regilecki, out my face! I'm not dealing with him. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yo, Andre sending me a banger of a team, dude. We're rocking out with it. So, Andre, you definitely watch this. I know you are. But you sent me a team. You rock, man. Seriously, all everybody who sends me teams, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. We're going to bring out final Pokemon. That's going to be our blast. Is, is Drought ending? Drought going to end here? I think Drought might end. But he does have Dynamax left, which, which is a little scary. I need Drought to end. Drought does not end. I still might go for a water spout. I still might do that. I'm gonna go for an overheat. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. Oh no, he, he already Dynamax. He already did Dynamax. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for a wicked blow into Rotom. Rotom goes down. Rotom goes down. Tough news. We're gonna show we're orb too. This one's gonna be real close. It might be choice. Water spout comes out here. How much damage are we really gonna do? That's not bad. That is not bad damage. In a drought? But Vine Lash is chipping away. Ooh, this one, ooh. 
He has true protect, so I cannot protect. Alright. Alright, it comes down to this. He still has drought? Does this thing have a rock? This has been five turns. This match hasn't been long at all. I can't protect. Let's go for Scald, or we can hope that a Blizzard hits. I said we hope a Blizzard hits. Good attack, okay. I think he just wants Vine Lash damage chipping away on me. That's smart. Oh, dude, I think he has this one. I think he has this one. Harsh Sunlight does fade. And the Vine Lash is going to slap up on me again. Oh, no, Vines are gone. All right, now I'm 100% going for a Scald. Because Scald should be able to pick up KO and win. But we just have to eat up this wicked blow. Miss! He hits. Eats up. Yo, Tasty Blastoids. It's Tasty. Tasty Blastoids. It's Tasty! Eat it up all day! Eat up all day! Get him out of here! Get him out of my game! Get him gone! Back to back, baby. Yo, Blastoids clutching up. Let's get it. We win that battle. Go back to back. And we have ourselves a dominating first two battles. That last battle, I'm going to title it, Get Out My Face. We legit just said get out my face the whole battle. Dominated them, took them out left and right. But we're hopping into our third one. And we're going up against another strong team. And this team right here that we're using by my boy Andre has been handling every single team he's been thrown at. But this one's looking tough as well. He's got the Trick Room with Indeedee and Hatterene. He also has a Torkoal Venusaur combo, which is very strong. He also has Charizard in the drought, which is amazing. And then he has Mamoswine, who is phenomenal. So if we win this one... I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon player on planet Earth. If we win this battle right here, sign me up for tournaments right now. But I don't know how I should go into this. I'm telling you, this one's going to be tough for us. I don't want to go Blastoise. I think Blastoise could be good because we can potentially change up weather. If you go Indeedee. Yeah, we're going to go Indeedee. We're going to try to change up weather if he does go for it, which he could potentially do. Um, I really don't think we need Salamence here. I think we bring in Urshifu and then Rotom? Yeah, every time's gonna be get some love in here. I'm gonna go for here. I'm gonna go for here. We're gonna go for this. This one's gonna be so hard. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be a pain in the neck. But my plan is here. If he sets drought, we can potentially just follow me first turn, change up the weather, roll from there. If we could just get weather control on this, it could be really, really good. He sent really good. Where are you gonna go? He's gonna throw out trick room. Trick room, yeah. So I don't, even, I don't even think I Dynamax. I think I simply go for a Water Spout and Expanded Force. That might be the play. Do 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 or Dazzle Gleam, whichever one I do want to go for. He's gonna get a lovely little Special Defense boost, which is big for him. But I totally see him going into that. Uh, uh what would what would be better, Gleam? Yeah, Gleam's going to be better because Expanding Force is not very effective on both of them. I'm going to go for this Gleam. I'm going to try to take out this Hatterene here, which we maybe can do. Oh, I mean, he's just going to go for an Alice, which is totally fine. We're double hit moves. I think we're going to be able to take out this Hatterene. Tell will have to go home. He's like, Water Spout? What? Oh, no way. Oh, I thought it was going to do way more than that. Shows Life Orb. And Gleam, maybe get a crit? Take out that Hatterene? Nope. Trick Room is out and about. Dang it, man. Hate this game. But I'm trying to think. Who's he going to bring out? Mamoswine? Right? Mamoswine's going to be his pick? I am going to drop a skull over onto you. And I'm going to send a nice little follow me. I want to get rid of this hat and arena. Follow me's going to come out from me. The Trick Room is out. Out and about. Spanning Force. Ooh, ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Knock it off. Eat up, boy, sweet. Love you. You expanded for... Oh, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, man. Double... Double expanded force comes out here. Drops some Pokemon. Um... Gotta bring out Rotom. I think... Actually, or can bring, bring out Urshfu. Going to Sucker Punches. Sucker Punch could be lovely. Hmm. Who do I take out? Who's posing a bigger threat here? Let me just take out this Hatterene. I think Hatterene's gonna do a lot more damage. I'm just gonna glean. Do a little bit of damage. Cause he might drop another expanded force. Let's see. What are you gonna do, kind sir? I can see another double expanded force coming out of here. Second punch comes through. GG. 
Jeans, jeans, jeans. Jeans, jeans, jeans. What am I doing? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? <laughs> How do I have those first two really strong battles and then do this? And then do this. I guess that's what I get. I use all my energy up in the first two battles and then I do this. Get absolutely dumped on. This dude's probably sitting behind. He probably knows who I am. He's probably sitting there like, yeah, Jeans, get out of my face. Me, 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 me. Get out of my face. Me, me, me. <laughs> but nah, he does it wrong. He doesn't do it right. Well, we're not gonna we're not just gonna quit without a fight here. Um I could set the drought if I really want to. I'm gonna take a Hatterene. <laughs> I'm not getting swept here. I have to Dynamax. Really went for that sucker punch. I knew you guys were I know what exactly what you guys are saying. You guys are probably sitting there like, Jeans, don't do the sucker punch. There's a psychic terrain out here. What are you doing? Don't do it. And then I clicked it, you guys were like, smacked yourself right in the face. Face palm, like, come on, man. And, you know, I always just forget, like, the little things. Like, I know, like, if you ask me, like, a question about it, you guys, like, if I had a Pokemon quiz in front of me, and, you, and the question was, like, can Sucker Punch it in Psychic Terrain? I would be like, obviously not. But it just doesn't connect with me sometimes. Like, some days I'll be on it, and I'll be like, yeah, I, obviously I can't do it, and I'll remember it. But then some days I'm just totally off it, like today. But we take out Hatterene. We don't get sweeped around here. We're not getting swept. We're not getting 4 0 That doesn't happen here. It doesn't happen here. Hey, but we got that winning record for you guys. Two and one. Two and one. Not bad. Not bad. Andre, shout out to you. Sending out the team. The team was amazing. Very, very strong. Wish we could have at least put up a fight in this one, but this one's on me. At least first and second battle. We're dominating. And our first battle we won without even picking our team. We got like a totally whack team and we still ended up winning. Droughts coming out here. I'm going to save my pizza oven. I'm going to run this battle. I'm going to run it. You guys know the deal. My first, whatever first three battles I record are the ones that get shown. So even though we got thumped on, I'm still going to show them to you guys. That's how we do it in the Jeans Online Game community. Awesome team we got to show off today. We went 2-1, got that winning record, and got to show off Salamence, a Pokemon that I haven't used in forever. And I'm really glad we got to use him because I absolutely love this guy, and nobody really uses him anymore. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.